Neighbors in flood-prone areas are also keeping a very close eye on the radar and getting ready just in case. And local 10's Janine Stan with us live at Aventura where families are still recovering from the last big flood. Janine. At this condo complex in Aventura, this place was a flooded mess in June. In Fort Lauderdale, neighbors there are still reeling from the big storm more than a year ago. It's scary. It's just frustrating. Oh, <laughs> Fear and frustration yeah, among Fort Lauderdale right. residents. <laughs> knowing heavy rain is in the forecast. Oh, the anxiety is there all the time. They live in the Edgewood neighborhood. The water was all the way up. That was swamped in those historic floods in April of 2023. The last time it was up to my hips. Sharon Dolan's house was like a swimming pool back then. Yeah, now she's right. almost done remodeling. Why do you want like this guy? He's right here. Israel Garcia shows us how high the water got at his property. He and his family lived in their camper for a year. Their home is finally fixed. They now worry about more water damage. It's nothing we can do. It's nothing we can do. In Aventura, some are just starting repair work at the Biscayne Lake Gardens condo complex. This is the parking lot now, but this is how it looked in June. When another deluge soaks South Florida. It's been awful. It's been awful. It's been traumatic. Yana Karpova says she's still waiting on insurance money and like everyone else, bracing for this weekend. I'm very nervous, yes. There's nothing to do. I don't care how many sandbags you put in there. It's not going to work. People tell us they plan to secure their valuables, watch the forecast, and hope for the best. We're in Aventura. I'm Janine Stanwood. Local 10 News.